Hey guys, this is Solrak333 with another custom review. And here I have the Masters of the Universe Origins New Eternia He-Man. And uh, yeah, I have a whole bunch of extra He-Man in my parts bin. And uh, um, I think this is the He-Man body is... I, I know it's part swap with someone else and I don't know who. Could be a WWE figure or uh, uh, I don't know but uh, I decided I want to do something with this body especially after I found a new return your he-man on sale at Target for like eight bucks thought I'd get another one and just did some part swapping and uh, so now I have my own new Eternia he-man for the origins line and then I gave the new Eternia He-Man the Origins He-Man harness. And that looks pretty cool. It's very tight, but it's on there pretty good. And I think it looks really cool on this body. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with both of these. Uh, that's what I'm loving about the Origins and Masterverse line. All the part swapping that you can do. Uh, and a simple head swap between the two lines uh, they use the same ball joint so it's just pop them off and, uh, this isn't the first time I used that new Eternia head on an ordinance body I think that one looks good on the battle armor he-man and uh, this one has been part swapped with the the battlefield warrior I don't remember that line that which the name of that one exactly where he has the you know, damage on his arm and thigh and that's the, with the flat silver uh, so I think this helmet looks good on this body and uh, yeah looking very cool I do like how this harness looks on this He-Man. Uh, I like that he has like a loincloth instead of the fur. Uh, this makes him look more like a barbarian. I like that. Like if they ever rebooted He-Man or Masters of the Universe, um, instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, I think they should do uh, what they originally tried to do with the mini comics, have him be a barbarian. Uh, and you know, he, he's given the, these magic items, you know, and do that. You know, he doesn't have to be Prince Adam. He can just be part of a tribe. You know, do that. And that's what this makes me think of. Like this, these are the magic items that the sorceress, or what was it, the goddess, gave him. I forget what her name is. Um, and this uh, came from Fisto. Um, I don't have another one here um, because again, did the part swap, so he has both the bracelet and the gauntlet. And then, talking about part swaps, that new Eternia head. Also looks good with an Origins He-Man hair. So I showed this guy in my last um, New Adventures He-Man review. Uh, and someone suggested if I trimmed the top of the head and I thought about that just never did but you know got me thinking about it and I did it so basically I just kept sanding the top of the head and fitting the hair until the bangs were right above the eyebrows I think it looks a lot better I also gave the hair a brown wash because that, that bright yellow hair just doesn't look right so I dirtied it up a little bit give it a brown wash Give it a brown wash with that cheap paint so it's probably going to rub off. 
um, but it, it, it looks a lot better. So this will be my 40th anniversary He-Man. Good thing I did buy two. I like this, but uh, something about his face. I know they went with that original look, but it's like they gave him really strong cheekbones. And it just, I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. The hair is fine. Just really strong cheekbones. I mean, kind of looks like Michael Landon. Michael Landon is He-Man. If they made He-Man a He-Man live action movie in the mid 80s. So yeah, that's my 40th. I still have plans for this, but I'll have to wait and see. And another hair swap. So I used the new Eternia He-Man's hair on the Revelations He-Man head. And now this is my Origins He-Man the one that sits on my custom battle cat. So we got a lot of moving parts here. Yes, there's my Origins New Eternia He-Man. I don't know, Barbarian He-Man. Anyway, thanks for watching.